What we're seeing here is an ultrasonic sensor, which actually measures the distance very, very accurately. So right. these are the sensors that are in the parking sensors that we're familiar exactly. with in, in, in cars. Uh, Any time you see in the behind the bumper, you see the circle. That's the ultrasonic sensor. Yeah. And here we have the sensor. By the way, it needs to be extremely reliable yeah. for it to be functional, especially in a car. And here we have a, a, such a sensor for demonstration where you can measure the distance very, very precisely at half the power and half the size, essentially enabling integration again enabled by the unique capabilities of the TRIO platform of integration of digital and high voltage on a single monolithic cell. Hello, I'm at the booth of OnSemi at the Electronica Trade Show and I'm with Vijay Rantala who is um, CTO of the Analog and Mixed Signal Group at OnSemi. Uh, welcome Vijay, lovely to be with you. It was nice talking to you as well. Okay, very good. So um, uh, OnSemi has got an exciting announcement here at Electronica about a, a new platform called TRIO. Um, I wonder if you could explain uh, what it is and why the name? First of all, thank you for the opportunity. Yes, uh, I think on one day we announced the new Trio platform. Um, I think the best way I describe it is it's actually the best of the three worlds that we brought together, essentially calling it Trio. Uh, this is the most advanced platform, a process technology platform that we brought in, which and, brings in. And the three worlds being analog, digital, and yes, power. Analog, analog, digital, and power. And it's actually built on a 65 nanometer deep submicron technology where we bring in. Uh, digital, high density digital, high performance analog, and high voltage power in all a single device. And that, to be clear, is unusual, unique, yes. never been done before? Never been done before. Never been done before. Uh, there are mm. attempts made, mm. uh, yeah. and, and they were successful partially, yeah. but this is the first time that we brought in a technology that actually not just goes from a 1 volt to 5 volt, 1 volt to 20 volts. This process technology scales from 1 volt to 90 volts in a single device, which and is the most unique piece of any existing technology. And this has not been done before, presumably because it's very difficult to do, I guess. Absolutely. It's extremely difficult to do. It requires a lot of engineering. Ansema has the reputation of being building the, the most advanced power technologies. Now, with acquisition of our East Fiscal Fab, we are able to bring in the digital pieces and analog together, and we created a, the first 65 nanometer technology in the world. And the devices that are built on this platform are fabricated by OnSemi in, in your own? Yes, class. correct. These are actually fabricated in our East Fishkin Fab in upstate New York. And uh, I, I, we already have nearly 10, 12 products on the display for today. Uh, I think that one of the most unique aspects of this is we just didn't build it for consumer applications or one specific applications. We built it as a generic platform, make it, making it automotive grade zero compliant, going all the way to 175 degrees. In fact, it's actually, when, when building this technology, there are easy compromises to be made. For example, one could actually compromise in the power, power, power performance, one could compromise in analog scaling, one could compromise in temperature. We actually did not choose to do that. We took the hard path of making all of them simul simultaneously match, and that's what most unique about this platform. The other interesting piece of this platform is the way we built the platform is actually using a bunch of what we call the Lego blocks of IPs. We are actually building the IPs that are related to the power subsystem, sensor subsystem, communication subsystem, or compute subsystem. Now, with that kind of a Lego approach, one could actually bring in these different building blocks together and actually able to create a final product in a much faster time. My, my prediction is somewhere between six to nine months from the day we provide the specification to actual silicon. Compare that to what it used to be before, more like two years, three years. Mm. I think in my opinion, this gives enough time to our customers actually to validate the requirements more carefully, more I mean, they actually understand the system requirements better and yeah. come to us when they actually need the silicon. And we will be able to turn around and provide them a silicon in six to nine months compared to what we used to do Just before, for that matter, any other competition. Yeah. So over time, you'll be able to uh, develop a portfolio of products that are more customized, more optimized for specific applications because you've got, as you say, these building blocks that allow you to, to spin out a large number of products pretty pretty quickly. Absolutely, and here is one mm. perfect example. Yeah. We have this platform, we just announced the platform, but in the last one year, here we have 10 different products all made using the same platform. And they range from one end, we have the continuous glucose monitor, which actually goes down to picoamps of leakage power yeah. and operates on a battery cell. <clears throat> and with that continuous glucose monitor, we extended the life of the patches that diabetic patients use from days to multiple weeks. In yep. fact, I would like to make a claim that now the patches are no longer limited by the electronics. It's actually limited by the wear and tear on your body. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the glue that sticks to the body. Yeah. 
So that's so one very, very small, very, very low power very example. Very low power example. So other use cases? Yes, yeah, so we have other examples, like we have an ultrasonic sensor on display here, where we actually built this in a medium voltage technology, going up to 40 plus volts, with a one volt transistor sitting next to it. It actually integrates high performance digital, high performance analog, and high voltage power, all in a single silicon. And we are able to do this, not just implement this as a piece of silicon, we were able to reduce the power by a factor of two and improve the performance by a factor of two. And needless to say, the die size also shrunk by a factor of two. So we are able to achieve multiple dimensions of optimization on a single silicon without compromising on any of the vectors. And, and, I, think, yeah. and I think you can also support some applications that have uh, that require fast signaling, signaling rates as well? Absolutely. We actually have, I mean, in fact, we're in the process of building a 10 base T1S. And I mm -hmm. think we have a couple of examples right, right here. Yeah where we're building this, uh, this same technology which requires high performance digital, high density digital, and a high voltage, 80 volts, 90 volts, sitting next to each other, and that got enabled by Trio platform. Otherwise, most of these solutions end up being a, a multi-chip module solutions or a multiple chip solutions. We are actually going to provide a single chip solutions, which is very unique in the market. It's not just because of the space savings we talked about, it also improves the system performance and reduces the total system cost. And to me, that's very important and for the customers is very important. And in addition, we can actually start thinking about adding new features that were one time considered not possible. As an example, we can actually integrate safety features now, part of our system that otherwise usually handled by outside, which again, increasing the cost, complexity, what and now we can actually implement it right next to where they need to be inside the silicon mm -hmm. and actually improve the safety solution. Yeah. Same thing goes for security. Mm -hmm. We can now have the capabilities to improve the security of the system. Mm -hmm. So the, the semiconductor industry is the story of integration. Yeah, it has been all, all through its history. Um, so we're talking here about um, really unprecedented levels of, of, of integration in, in these kinds of use cases. Um, so the benefits from the OEM's point of view, from your customer's point of view, so kind of very obviously, I guess, space saving and, and reduction in component count. Um, of what kind of order, what kind of scale uh, are, we, are we talking about here in yeah. terms of space savings? And, yeah, so uh, the space, obviously uh, the, the first way I want to start off is, instead of saying space savings, I would like to call it a system optimization. Okay. Because now, the, like I mentioned before, the system integration aspect of it, now the, the architects of the systems need to start thinking very differently because this technology never existed before. So what I suspect will happen is, the, the, uh, the, the system architects in each of these customers, OEMs or tier ones, will now be leveraging this technology start to coming up with new topologies that enables this integration. Now, what is the level of uh, scaling that is possible? My view of this is, it actually depends on the system, obviously, yep. but my expectation is that the system, uh, like I mentioned, I mentioned the word 2x in every category. That's what I expect yeah. in, in overall. Yeah, so so we can, if you're thinking about it purely on in terms of like for like replacement, so then there are some savings to me. But you're saving, you're saying that there, there's even greater scope for um, for developing space savings, cost savings, yes. um, system optimization if you um, approach the design differently from the very start and with this technology in mind. Yes. Absolutely, I think that's you you you, you phrased it very nicely. Okay, and, yes. and 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 you can enable that, support that in what kinds of ways? What kind of sort of design? support and enablement is there available yeah, so from OnSemi? I think OnSemi is right now has a portfolio of high piece that we already built, yeah. validated, characterized. Yeah. So we are ready to go from any any class of the system from an integration perspective. So we are actually showing showcasing topologies and saying, hey, this is a possibility, this is a possibility. We are not defining what those need to be, those right. need to be defined by our customers. Yeah. But when the customer asks us what is the feasibility of it, we are ready to support them. And that should actually make them think in a different way and actually approach to their system solutions in a much faster way. And that's the first step for yeah. us. And, but once they actually converge on their architecture, on semi actually can jump in then, actually build those solutions for them and turn around in a much faster than any of our competition can. Where, because with the way we approach this is again, as a platform approach, where we have the pre-verified building blocks, IP blocks available. Yeah. So we can act, first we aid the customers with the system integration aspects of it and system partitioning aspects of it, and then turn around and convert that into a real solution for them in a much faster, 
than any other competition can do with this platform. Mm. Very good. So um, your product development will be driven by customer requirements and, yes. and, and by the, 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 the way the customers come to you with saying, this is what we need. Absolutely. Mm. Obviously, it's going to be uh, um, a collaborative model, mm. not just like uh, we're going to tell them or they're going to tell us, because I think there are things that we know they may or may not know, and there are things that they know, especially on the system aspects of it that yeah. we are still learning. Mm. So my expectation is that we are going to collaborate with the customers much more closely to define these solutions, this, mm. define these partitioning solutions, and then convert that into simple solution. To me, that is the right, um, the most optimal way to approach this problem. Yeah. yeah. And in terms of um, applicability to market segments, you, you mentioned, um, for instance, integrating safety features before. So does that mean that this um, TRIO technology is suitable for automotive and for potentially military and other very demanding uh, environments? Absolutely. I think the way, the way we approach this platform is uh, we know, based on past experience, automotive carries the highest standard from a quality perspective. So we design the platform, the technology, and we are also designing our IPs to meet those strictest automotive uh, standards. Like I mentioned to you, every IP is kept in mind the use for automotive. What does it mean? How do you actually ensure safety? Whether you have any FMEDS related to that to actually assess what kind of failure modes that can happen. But we are also, from a process technology development perspective, designed this to operate at 175 degrees, which is unprecedented for a technology of this nature. And now, with that kind of uh, uh, features, we believe we can address not just automotive, we can address automotive, we can address industrial, very difficult, equally difficult requirements, but we also can actually address consumer applications. When I gave one example, we have a continuous glucose monitor, it's actually the best example of a consumer, albeit it's not the high power that matters, it's actually the lowest power that matters. So here we have a platform that can address all three different markets and can address ultra low power to the highest power with the highest efficiency, which is the most unique combination that we can achieve with this platform. Yeah. And you've announced this technology this week uh, for, for the Electronica show. Um, is it available for um, for implementation immediately? Yes, we like. I think we are showcasing about 10 plus products right here. And all these, many of these products are actually available online. One could actually go and make, an, make, make a request. They can actually purchase that right now. Of course, some of them are actually our customer solutions. We will not be able to sell them, but the rest of them are available in the market. Just go to onsummit.com slash trio. You should be able to find these products and you can place your order and you can play with it. Right Very away. good. Are there any sort of automotive use cases that you can talk to us about? Yeah, great. Uh, we have actually two automotive use cases in demonstration today. One of them is actually an automotive grade 10 based T1S. And we also have an ultrasonic sensor that is used for most of the parking applications nowadays. Okay, so, so let's take a look. Absolutely. So the, the TRIO platform is a, a technology that allows you to integrate you know, analog, digital, and power circuitry all within one chip. Okay. Um, so you've got various uh, automotive use cases for this as, as demonstrations. Um, can you describe this one here for an inductive position sensor? Absolutely. What we have here is an inductive position sensor yeah. that actually is, is actually measures the velocity and the speed, or even sometimes used even for brakes to identify the position of the motors, rotors, and everything else. Yeah. Uh, in this specific example, we have index position sensor, and when you actually press the accelerator, you can see the accelerator actually moving, and the display actually shows how fast the- So that's tracking the motion of the, of the pedal as you depress it, yeah. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And the uniqueness about this, especially enabled by the TRIO platform, compared to our past solution, this solution is actually 50% smaller, or 33% smaller, and a 50% lower in power. And, and of course, as you can imagine, being used for such a uh, safety critical application, it requires the highest standard of safety and the TRIA platform enables it to meet the highest standard of safety. This is one possible example of what you can do in TRIO in our moment. Mm. And what you've got here is, so the, the, uh, your chip is interfacing to the inductive uh, coil yes. and then it's doing the calculation. So it's got, you've got the analog bit, you've got the digital bit doing yes. the calculation of the, uh, of, of the position from the raw sensor inputs. Yes. Um, and it's also providing some power to, to, to yes. drive the circuitry. Yes, our, our chip is actually sitting here, right here. You can see the location of the chip here. Yep. And what we have here is we are able to integrate uh, high density digital and high voltage power, and that's enabled by the TRIO platform, and that's what is enabling a solutions like this. So it's the integration story it's right integration here. Okay, yes, exactly. Very good. There's another automotive use case as well that takes advantage of the uh, integration of the digital analog and the power circuitry. Yeah. Um, so it's this ultrasonic parking sensor. So yes. Uh, so you've got the, the demo here. What, what are we seeing here? What we're seeing here is an ultrasonic sensor, which actually measures the distance very, very accurately. So but these are the sensors that are in the parking sensors that we're familiar exactly. with in, in, in cars. Uh, Every time you see in the behind the bumper, you see the circle. That's the ultrasonic sensor. Yeah. And here we have the sensor. By the way, it needs to be 
extremely reliable yeah. for it to be functional, especially in a car. And here we have a, a, such a sensor for demonstration where you can measure the distance very, very precisely at half the power and half the size, essentially enabling integration, again enabled by the unique capabilities of the TRIO platform of integration of digital and high voltage on a single monolithic cell. Yeah. And automotive, automotive grade, qualified for use in, in yes. automotive applications? Yes, it's, this is certified up to 175 degrees yeah. and it's actually an automotive grade safety device uh, used in, I want to say, majority of the cars today. Yeah. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. So that is OnSemi's new TRIO technology, bringing space, energy and cost savings to applications that perform a combination of digital, analog and power functions. Find out more at onsemi.com slash TRIO.